It's been a tough night, but there's always tomorrow. Those dreaming of a dual national championship for both North Carolina State's men's and women's basketball teams are disappointed. The women's team fell hard tonight in Cleveland to the South Carolina Gamecocks. Good evening. This is the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. I'm Katie Nordine. Joining us here in the studio tonight to give us the highlights is Fox 8's Kevin Connolly. Kevin, the Lady Wolf Pack gave it their all, but unfortunately mm. fell short of a win. A very tall order for the NC State women tonight. Number one, South Carolina, which entered the NCAA tournament as the number one overall seed. Now, it was a very competitive first half. A sweet backdoor cut right here to Isaiah James for the bucket. And NC State had a 16 to 13 lead. She had 10 points in the first half. Second quarter, Mimi Collins for three. NC State down one at the half, 32 31. The third quarter was a difference. And it was like South Carolina was a different team, outscoring NC State 29 to 6 to take control of the game. South Carolina wins it 78 59 to advance to the title game. While tonight's game didn't go NC State's way, Wolfpack fans have one more opportunity as the men are in the Final Four and will play Purdue. The Wolfpack were on the floor for the open practice session out in Glendale, Arizona today. NC State fans have traveled well. There was a solid crowd dressed in red. We'll have a little bit more for you later in sports. NC State Purdue is the first game tomorrow in Arizona, followed by Alabama and UConn. The UConn Huskies trying to go back to back. All right, Kevin, thank you. There was a widespread outbreak of wolf pack fever in downtown Greensboro tonight as fans hit up the gathering spaces to cheer on their team. It was also 2024's first spring, first Friday monthly celebration of the arts downtown. And with the NC State men playing tomorrow night, there will be plenty of watch parties over the next 24 hours. Fox 8's Justin Lundy has been hanging out at one of them. He's live tonight at South End Brewery. So Justin, after tonight's results, how's everyone feeling down there? Well, Neil, Katie, I saw a lot of NC State fans head back to their cars after that tough loss against the South Carolina Gamecocks. But thankfully, they have another round of Final Four games tomorrow featuring the men's basketball team. For the next 24 hours, this is what most bars across North Carolina will look like as NC State fans cheer on the men and women's basketball teams who successfully made it to the Final Four of the NCAA tournament, something NC State alum quit in doubt thought he'd never live to see. The men's or women's really couldn't get the job done very far. I think the, the biggest thing that happened when I was in college, we beat the men beat Villanova to go to the Sweet 16. That was a big deal, um, but I'm just glad that I can be a part of it now. Friday night, Doubt watched the NC State women's basketball team take on the University of South Carolina, where his wife went, and he says his house is divided. Yeah, my wife is a USC fan. She went to South Carolina in there cheering for Don and all the girls there. But, uh, you know, I got to stay loyal to my school and my alma mater. With the Gamecocks favor to beat the Wolfpack, NC State was also cheered on by ACC rivals. So I went to Clemson. I'm a big Clemson fan. but So there's a little bit of bad blood between us and NC State, but I'm probably going for both teams. Both. Why is that? Well, you know, underdog's always good, especially for the men's team. Like, DJ Burns has been fun to watch. and I don't know. I, I just think it would be really cool, especially like folks around here that are NC State fans. I'd be excited for them. And with First Friday bringing NC State fans and bar hoppers alike back to downtown Greensboro, a spokesperson for South End Brewery says they're prepared for whatever outcome the Final Four brings. The bar is, is definitely going to be staffed up. We anticipate that to be pretty big. Kitchen is always ready for a big crowd. And folks are expected to pack downtown again tomorrow as NC State's men's basketball team takes on Purdue at 6 p.m. Report live in Greensboro, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News.